Both leaders will now sign an historic new bilateral security agreement between the United States and Ukraine. President Zelensky and I have just now signed that agreement between the United States and Ukraine. Our goal is to strengthen Ukraine's credible defense and deterrence capabilities for the long term. A lasting peace for Ukraine must be underwritten by Ukraine's own ability to defend itself now and to deter future aggression any time in the, in the future. The United States is going to help ensure that Ukraine can do both, not by sending American troops to fight in Ukraine, but by providing weapons and ammunition, expanding intelligence sharing, continuing to train brave Ukrainian troops at bases in Europe and the United States, enhancing interoperability between our militaries in line with NATO standards, investing in Ukraine's defense industrial base so in time, in time, they can supply their own weapons and munitions, working with U Ukraine's partners to build a future force that is strong, sustainable, and resilient, and supporting Ukraine's economic recovery as well as its energy recovery after Russia has repeatedly targeted Ukraine's energy grid with massive attacks in the futile attempt to break the will of the Ukrainian people. And so we're going to stay as long as it takes. With regard to the plan, that is a, that is a plan in process now. We're discussing with our Ukrainian friends exactly what it would be. We have a lot of movement toward that. We know the outlines of it. We have not done the detail of it all. But we know what Ukraine is capable of doing when given the material to defend themselves. And that's exactly what they're doing now. Today is a truly historic day. And we have signed the strongest agreement between Ukraine and the U.S. since our independence. And this is something that will not only provide security, but also new good jobs for Ukrainians and Americans. The issue of NATO is covered through the text of the agreement. It states that America supports Ukraine's future future membership in NATO and recognizes that our security agreement is a bridge to Ukraine's member membership in NATO. I had phone conversation with a leader of China by phone. He said that he will not sell any weapon to Russia.